Classic WoW Season of Discovery was just announced and it could be possibly changing everything we know about this 20 year old relic of a game. So Blade Dance? So just, I just engrave my pants and then I get the spell. It's the biggest amount of change the game has ever seen. And I'm going to go over exactly how this community's thoughts are being divided into different groups and what implications the new systems will potentially have on the game. The classic vanilla WoW community is one of the most outspoken communities regarding the way they enjoy to play their game in its original state. If you play or enjoy WoW Classic Vanilla, you'd likely say that it is akin to something like a perfect game frozen in time from 20 years ago. You'd also probably subscribe to the idea that every expansion has made the original worse in some way, arguably some expansions more than others. With the announcement of Season of Discovery, I quickly saw the community splitting into three different groups. We have the aforementioned purists who stuck to their core principles of not wanting the game to be altered in any significant way. There are very few examples of the game that you could change that would uh, be acceptable to this group. And in the, in the context of Season of Discovery, they completely reject it. And in many cases, they mock it for being a rip of a private server, which is a debate to be had. Next, we have the complete opposite side of the spectrum, which contains players who were very vocal about wanting a Classic Plus that shook up both PvE and PvP metas. Now, this sentiment was carried out by quite a lot of people, typically players who may have played a subpar class or a specialization in vanilla like Moonkin or Rhett, for example. And quite honestly, there are also a lot of people in this group who would be accepting of anything done by Blizzard, whether or not it was good, and probably would have cheered even if all we got was a new shop overall. Thirdly, we have people who are keeping an open mind about the situation and reserving their final genuine opinions until they actually play it. This group of individuals could be comprised of individuals that were once purists or the open to anything group, but now are more reserved with their final opinions after giving it more thought. Whereas I'm thinking like, okay, well, we, we have the macro right now, but maybe if we increase the amount of abilities and add all these new things and ability swapping, rune swapping, whatever you want to call it into the game, the skill cap could increase. And I think both things that we're that I think I think both things are, are valid ways of looking at it, and it's just going to come down to whatever your preference is. Now, of course, there's a lot of people right now who have the preference for just wanting a fresh server. Just do the fresh server. We don't need to change anything. We've got an almost perfect game as it is. Maybe tweak a couple things here and there. And then you've got the other side of the coin where it's like, let's see what happens. Let's see what they do. When the news of Season of Discovery first was being announced and all throughout the presentation, my inner purist was telling me what in the world is being done to my favorite game. Uh, how could they do this and not just give us a fresh? Uh, all we wanted was rated Battlegrounds. What is this? And honestly, I just had a no negative overall sentiment. After a night of thinking about it, I still carried the same sentiment, but it wasn't until I spoke to a few friends who've been playing the game with me at a semi-competitive level for like the last 20 years or so odd, 20 so odd years now, and started theory crafting with them and coming up with like some potential scenarios that could unfold, I started noticing myself having fun thinking about all these possibilities. Sure, it could be completely broken and unfun, but we're not going to know that until we try it. And automatically assuming that things are going to be broken and unfun is not the correct way to look at it. Some of the most enjoyable world PvP happens at low levels, when both players are not overgeared with full max gear and able to one-shot. It evens the playing field quite significantly. By capping at 25, we potentially have some really good PvP to look forward to, at least for a decent amount of time. There will be some abilities that might be extremely overpowered in PvP that are being introduced into the game from future expansions, but we really have no idea how this is going to flesh out in Classic. And for me, the unknown is what makes it exciting. The unknown is what made original Vanilla so exciting to me when I was playing with my friends back in school, finding things that no one had documented and doing things that weren't, that weren't we weren't even sure if others had done. The PVE will likely be the least exciting part of the immediate release, 
primarily because we're not getting any new dungeons and it is just or like a rehashed five man turned into a raid it will still be interesting and exciting at least for the few few couple times first few couple times to understand how the runes are going to flesh out in pve situations and encounters i don't i i really don't think anyone's going to be jumping for joy to farm three months of getting knocked off the ledge so it will be interesting to see how they plan to roll out more pve encounters and what like on the fly changes they're willing to make as they mentioned uh, in an interview it's quite simple for them to just scale a dungeon up and turn it into a raid so perhaps we'll see this done to quite a few more dungeons uh, or none at all but they did say they were going to be doing them at every iteration of levels they release now they might also add some additional ones there in between if it is going that way so we'll see I would be happy if they did because it's going to be difficult to keep players online to repeatedly run the same dungeon, especially if they're not into PvP and the whole Ashenvale thing. Furthermore, in terms of PvE, I'm a bit concerned when it comes to the power creep of some abilities and how this might influence a future boosting meta because it could possibly out uh, like invalidate dungeons and questing, uh, which has been done in the past. I don't believe anyone would see this as a good thing to the game's longevity. I would wager that a large portion of the Purists will at least end up trying Season of Discovery when it releases. Even though it's not the fresh that a lot of us were initially asking for, it is still a fresh server and fresh economy, which is something I am very much looking forward to. As the days go by since the announcement, I see the sentiment within the community beginning to become more positive about the changes, but there is still a lot of people who dislike it. It's probably wise to be both skeptical and have an open mind to it. We're either going to have a lot of future content to look forward to, or it's just going to have, it's going to be a big flop and we can revert back to era or start rooting for another fresh classic as it was going to be originally and learn from our mistakes. Hopefully nothing's going away and the era servers will still be there. It's just a new chapter for classic. Wow. That I believe they drew inspiration from private servers Noticing how popular they're becoming when they added new features to the base game. People love the base game and they just want more. And the people who played subpar classes that just don't want to feel subpar when they're playing. Now we have essentially every class being at least a hybrid with even like healing mages and warlocks tanking. And as absurd as it sounds, it might just be really fun or not. But I say let's play and find out. Although some people will just parrot what their favorite streamer says anyways, and hopefully that won't be you. No, that can't be you. You're watching my video, and anyone that watches my videos are automatically intelligent. And with that being said, leave your comments down below and give it a thumbs up or down if you think it deserves it. This is Cutie, signing out.